Welcome to another episode of AI Explained. In this episode, we will cover three topics. The first topic, how ServiceNow uses the different types of LLM in ServiceNow. The second topic, the differences between AI, Gen AI and machine learning. And the third topic is a high level overview of the AI capabilities within ServiceNow. Let's start off with where we ended the last video, the LLM overview. If you look at how ServiceNow uses those different LLMs, on the one hand, ServiceNow uses their Now LLM and Azure OpenAI in Now Assist. Now Assist, you can easily turn on plugins, for example, summarization, code generation, and node generation, which allows more functionality to come available within the platform. The Now LLM is based on GPT 43B, Starcoder, and an encoder decoder LLM that is trained with domain specific data. For some cases, it still uses Azure OpenAI that is also trained and customized for ServiceNow purposes. In the description below, you can find more details on which LLMs are available, how the Now LLM came to play, and the different types of LLMs that are used by Now Assist. If we look at the other side, the generative AI controller allows us to integrate with OpenAI, Azure OpenAI and Google Bart. The way you do that, ServiceNow provides you with spokes and you can, for example, enable summarization, code generation, sentiment analysis by integrating with one or more of those LLMs. Of course, to do that, you have to have additional license agreement with whatever third party you want to integrate with. Uh, let's say OpenAI, you need an OpenAI li license as well. You need to configure that and you need to build the capability within the platform. You can use those building blocks to build additional functionality within the ServiceNow platform. If we look at where those large language models are placed at the Now Assist, Gen AI controller, those are all deep learning models. Deep learning itself falls within the bigger realm of machine learning. Within machine learning, ServiceNow also offers capabilities. If we look at predictive intelligence, you have regression, similarity, classification, clustering. Those are all types of machine learning. And machine learning falls within the bigger area of AI, artificial intelligence. So that encompasses machine learning and deep learning and those LLMs. ServiceNow already offers a lot of AI capabilities. If we look at AI search that has been around for quite some time, automation discovery, document intelligence, natural language understanding, task intelligence, natural language query, and process mining. Those are all AI capabilities. You don't need to now LLM or OpenAI, Azure OpenAI or BART, but you can enable them with different plugins. Uh, so for example, predictive intelligence, AI search, you can enable them, configure them, and start using AI already without the need of Gen AI. I hope you enjoyed this video. We went through how ServiceNow uses the different LLMs, the difference between AI, Gen AI, and machine learning, and we've seen some high level overview of AI capabilities. In the next video, I will be assisted by my colleague Maud, and we will go one step deeper into the AI functionalities that ServiceNow has to offer. Hope to see you then. In the meantime, like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.